Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, I have your September relationship tarot reading here for you and the person that you are dealing with. If you haven't already, please make sure that you have subscribed to my channel, like this video if it ends up resonating, and leave a comment. Let me know that you guys want more readings from me. Usually it's pretty like hit and miss for you guys. Sometimes I get really high views on some of your readings, other times I get barely any views so I just figured you know let me just give Gemini another reading I also got a new oracle deck I did get the moonology deck here let me just show you guys so yeah I did get a new oracle deck that I decided to use for the love readings for September and I love them all right so let's get started so Gemini Gemini you guys are going through it or you're gonna be going through it um so the way that you are currently feeling in september and i am recording this in the end of august so if i keep saying in september in september it's because we're not in september yet at the time of filming but yeah so you guys are not really in your feelings at the moment with the queen of swords as your energy I think that you guys are really overworked right now. You have a lot of things going on in your own lives, maybe in the relationship as well. You have a lot on your plate. And I feel like that is why you have kind of taken yourself out of this relationship. You may not be showing a lot of emotions here. The Queen of Swords is not an emotional queen. She doesn't show affection. She says what she feels. So yeah, I feel like you guys are just going through a really tough time right now. And um yeah, you may be very stressed out in life and it's kind of taking a toll on your connection. You may also feel like you are the only one putting work into this relationship. And as of right now, I don't know if you and your partner are or if you guys are going to be in September, like in a really happy spot. I feel like the energy right now, well, even in September, like it's going to be a little bit you know passive not a lot of things are going to be going on with the seven of pentacles but yeah so you have a very stressed energy um you may feel like you're carrying the whole relationship on your back maybe you are the one that has to make all the plans you're the one that's always reaching out and your partner really isn't pulling their weight when it comes to this connection the way that your partner feels i think that your partner is very like in and out of your life um they got the six of cups so in general, I feel like your partner feels this soulmate connection with you and um, you guys may have known each other for a long time, maybe from your childhood, but if not, you guys just go way back. You, your partner loves to reminisce about you and they have a lot of memories about you. Your partner may also have children with the Six of Cups here. And by the way, Gemini, if you are not trying to get pregnant in September, wrap it up, you know, use condoms and be careful because the energy on you, the way that your partner is viewing you, it's like pregnant. They see you as being pregnant. So some of you guys may be pregnant. Some of you guys, your partner is pregnant. Either way, pregnancy and children are really big in this reading. Um, but yeah, your partner may have children here that are maybe affecting them. Or the relationship but you're really stressed out here and your partner doesn't give a damn <laughs> so your partner may be in and out of your life in September or in the recent past that might be the theme here with your partner they're very in and out um, I just heard indecisive clarifying your partner's energy is the hanged man in the eight of cups so I think your partner has either left you or they're going to leave you or this is just um, the energy that they have had like it's not nothing new um i also feel like your partner they may not be emotionally fulfilled in this connection 100 percent. they may not be happy and i feel like they may have removed themselves from the relationship and walked away from you to be honest but they have a tendency to keep coming back so they keep leaving and coming back and leaving and coming back and they're leaving you here with you know, all this shit on your back that you have to deal with. And I feel like the relationship is very stressful for you, Gemini. Not gonna lie, but I think your partner, their feelings are not really there. They may be holding back. And honestly, I don't know how much feelings they actually have besides feeling that deep soulmate connection. 
now the weird thing is is that you have this detached energy like you're not really showing your partner how you truly feel you may not be feeling that great about your partner either but your partner is seeing you as i'm getting like a very happy energy here so the empress and this is this pregnancy energy the empress page of cups two of cups ace of cups so if you are pregnant it's possible that you're going to have a girl but for others of you your partner is seeing you as this really great person this really great individual they know that or they can see that you have a lot of love for them you have a lot of emotion invested in the connection um and here's that connection and they can see that like you guys you have something okay i'm not going to deny that you guys do have a connection um you may also have a child as well like i said you may be pregnant but i feel like your partner just sees you as being very emotional and um very nurturing and soft and stuff like that but with the knight of pentacles they may also view you as being a little bit slow in regards to having children. So Gemini, maybe you don't want to have children right away with this person. Based on the past energy of the connection, you guys may like just recently, you know, be dating. So having children may not be the first thing that you want to do. You know, maybe you want to get to know your partner more. But I feel like your partner sees this slow energy from you. Um... But at the same time, they see that you are hardworking. <laughs> but um, hardworking, like you're breaking your freaking back here. But they're seeing you as someone that puts in the effort and the work. But the Knight of Pentacles is also very slow. So I think in regards to having children in that aspect, I feel like your partner does see that you are taking your time with that. And maybe that's not the first thing on your priorities, having children. Um, but I do think they see that you have grown a lot. You're very abundant here. Lots of growth. And the way that you see your partner. Oh, and, you know, the true way that you feel about your partner and the relationship. You're supposed to look at how you guys are perceiving each other. And like I said, the way that you feel about this person, Gemini, or the way that, yeah, you feel and the way that you're being perceived is completely, like, two different energies. Two different energies. This is a very open energy and the Queen of Swords is more closed off. She's not that open. She's more factual. The Empress is just this loving, caring energy, this mother energy. And they may also perceive you as being a mother, okay? But yeah, Gemini, like the way that they're seeing you is the opposite energy. Just weird. Um, so now the way that you're perceiving your partner, Gemini, the King of Cups... Now that's interesting because the King of Cups is very in tune with himself and his emotions. So I mean, I guess that could kind of go with how they truly are. But the Hanged Man, he kind of like removes himself and lets go of a situation. Whereas the King of Cups, he's in his feelings. Like he knows how to control his feelings. Um, so maybe you see your partner as being very in control of their feelings and how they respond to certain things um versus the hanged man where this like he just lets go of control he doesn't try to control the situation he doesn't try to control um the situation the energy all of that clarifying that card the knight of swords so i do feel like you guys do see this um what is that word called this repetitiveness of your partner coming and going really quickly um i also want to mention that you may also as well see your partner as being very abundant and they may come from a very rich family, um, a very abundant family. Once again, family is coming up here. Children is coming up here. But I feel like you may see that your partner is keeping something to themselves and they're not being completely honest with you about certain things. Um, the High Priestess is a secretive card and with the King of Cups, just both of those cards being very like passive energy, not a lot of movement from the King of Cups and the High Priestess, I feel like there could be some unrequited love coming from your partner. Like you can tell that your partner isn't really showing you the same energy that you're showing your partner. Also, the Empress and the High Priestess are both divine feminine cards, okay? Um, 
and like I was saying this card is more about being open and growth birthing something new and the high priestess is more of an internal card you know so the energy once again is very different so Gemini you may come across as being more open with your partner but the way that you're perceiving your partner is very closed off maybe emotionally or just physically like they come and go a lot you don't really know how they feel you may not feel like they love you the same way you do but your partner sees you as very open very loving you know you have all these emotions here they see that you that yeah that you love them but do you really love them i think you do because you're putting in all this work into the connection but you don't feel that love from your partner you don't feel it and um yeah i think the energy that they truly feel about you in september is matching up with how you're perceiving them gemini like your partner just straight up doesn't really care like i feel like they're low-key done with you and the, the situation and you can see that you can see that they're being very passive and they're not really contributing anything they keep coming in and out and it's like listen i have all this love for you here okay i really do have feelings for you you're making me do all this work here do you want to be with me or not so the recent past energy okay however this resonates is the three of pentacles so i feel like in the recent past you and your partner were trying to grow something and build something really stable and you know putting in the effort together this can also indicate a third party relationship. This is why I feel like this relationship, if it wasn't new, you guys were still at a point where you guys were learning each other and learning how to be together. Clarifying that was the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Queen of Swords. So there's your energy and the Eight of Wands. So there may have been an opportunity that came in the recent past that had you or both you like your partner, both of you guys having to choose a direction um this could be money this could be like a physical gift this could be a blessing from the universe but either way you and your partner had to decide something um maybe where to go what to do with the connection if you guys wanted to keep working on it but i feel like this relationship is fairly new um and with the eight of wands here like there may have been a lot of communication in the past the communication may not have been as romantic and loving as maybe it should have been but i feel like you guys had to decide if you wanted to put more work into this connection and communication was really important in the recent past now the current energy you guys got the magician and the cards clarifying this card was um a little bit alarming let me drink some tea mm. so you got the devil king of pentacles and the seven of pentacles so this is why i feel like in september there's going to be a pause in your connection you guys are going to have to think about okay is this relationship worth working on you know is it worth us coming together and building this connection on something or should we just separate okay so there will be a moment of like you know contemplation and you guys may have to sit down and be like are we putting enough energy into the connection or you'll do it alone because this person is by themselves so whatever resonates for you guys maybe you're coming together maybe you're doing it separately are you putting the energy that you want in this connection is this where you want to be is this who you want to be with those are going to be some of the questions that you're going to ask yourself in september is all of this work that i'm doing for nothing you know like what the hell and with the devil and the king of pentacles i do feel like there is going to be some hard things that are going to be coming up in the future or just in the in september in general that is probably why you guys are going to be sitting here contemplating like is this worth it um i do want to mention as well the devil and the magician can indicate a deceptive person a con artist somebody that lies and you know they manipulate people and stuff like that and then with the king of pentacles you may be dealing with a capricorn individual because the devil is capricorn energy or a taurus or virgo but um i do think that when things do get difficult in september and moving into october you guys are gonna be like okay is my person you know doing what they need to do to keep me am i wasting my time here 
you know, do I keep putting energy into this connection or do I just let it go? I do feel like you guys were given a, I want to say second chance in the recent past. You guys were given an opportunity here to decide. And maybe it was to decide, should I go back to this person or should I move forward? There was a plan here, you know, something was happening. There could be travel as well, quick travel, so airplane traveling here. Maybe you traveled to your partner to work things out. There was a second opportunity here, a second chance. Lots of communication in the past. And then the near future energy. Gemini, you guys got a tower moment. So it's going to be crazy. Um, you got the chariot energy. So I feel like there will be some blockages. There will be some obstacles. But at the end of the day, you guys will still be forging forward. Um, the chariot, I feel like, is a positive card in a love reading. Now clarifying that, once again, you got the three of pentacles which is a theme here. You got the Tower card. You got the Three of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So what I feel like is the foundation that you guys started building on this connection is going to be coming crumbling down. There may be a third party, and this doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, but there may be a third party situation in this connection that is going to expose itself. So something may come crumbling down. The truth may be exposed. Something unexpected is going to happen in the future. Now, with this tower moment that's coming, because the chariot is there, I feel like you guys are going to keep pushing through this chaotic energy. The tower is not usually positive, you know, but the tower is a universal thing like the universe is going to bring you this to show you the truth okay so whatever this tower moment is in the connection is here to expose something that was not built on something solid and if your relationship was built on something you know not that great the universe is going to highlight that and it's going to bring a you know boop there you go you can see the truth now once again, the Three of Cups. So there could be a third party situation. It could be a friend of yours, something like that. I don't know, maybe your partner is, you know, having somebody on the side. If they do have somebody on the side, Gemini, that will be exposed here. But that could be a job, that could be a friend, that could be a family member. Any kind of like third part jealousy, you know. So anything outside of you and your partner that is affecting the connection and because there is two threes here i feel like yeah there's definitely a third party here something else is going to bring this tower moment how you guys react to it i feel like you guys are going to try to keep pushing through like i mentioned here oops with the devil all of this stuff i do feel like you may get a warning sign in september that something is not correct here and that's probably why you guys are going to be pausing and being like, okay, there's some red flags here. Okay, am I going to listen to my intuition? Am I going to listen to what I'm being shown physically? Because pentacles are physical things. So are you going to listen to what you are physically seeing? Because there's some deception here? Or are you going to stay in this relationship? And because the tower moment is here, I feel like you guys are going to just keep pushing forward. And then boom, you're going to be exposed. Now the four of pentacles... I feel like this energy is holding on for dear life. And Gemini, if this is you holding on to the relationship and trying to salvage what you can, just let it go. Let it go, Gemini, okay? Um, try not to hold the relationship together because you're afraid of being unstable or not having that security okay Ooh, yeah something crazy is about to happen now the way that you need to proceed gemini was mm. so you got the four of wands and i feel like this is how you guys perceive relationships and how you guys are within connections um i feel like there's two different sides of you that you need to balance out when it comes to this relationship and when it comes to others will you guys be together i don't know because you know this tower moment maybe whatever it is something's gonna be exposed how you handle it i really don't know i feel like you might try to hold on and keep the connection but i think you guys really need to balance out these two sides of yourself the nine of swords which is mental anxiety you're stressing out here you're feeling grief fear negativity okay maybe you overthink a lot gemini and 
with the nine of cups this is you getting what you want and this is happiness and i feel like when you are in relationships gemini you have to balance out the negative and the positive i feel like when one side gets um thrown out of balance maybe your your fears start taking over and then you kind of stay in a situation because you want to be happy but you're not really happy you're just afraid of the what ifs you're afraid of taking that chance now the nine of cups only gets to that ninth cup because they walk away from something that isn't fulfilling them and your partner is not afraid to walk away from you gemini so you may need to ask yourself like why am i staying in this connection am i truly happy or am i just too afraid to leave um and you really need to be very mindful of your thoughts because that nine of swords indicates lack of sleep your anxieties like you're just really really unhappy so i think you need to balance out your happiness with your unhappiness you know just keep yourself in check when it comes to your connections are you are you getting what you should out of the relationship okay are you getting what you want or are you not and you're just overthinking and you're staying in this connection because you're afraid you really need to balance out these two aspects of yourself okay um overthinking and staying because you're afraid of maybe not finding a connection that makes you happy or you know staying because you feel like you're afraid you won't get what you want from someone else Okay, now going through the moon cards that you got, you have, what do you need to release? And I'm not going to read the book. I will put the messages from these cards in the description box of the video. So what do you need to release? Scorpio, I feel like you need to release your fears and you need to release your overthinking. You need to release the control that you want over this connection. You need to release the control. Are you putting all this work into a connection that is pretty much just fizzled out and is done? Um, so what do you need to release? Do you need to release this person? You know, what do you need to let go of? Believe in the impossible. So Gemini, this is, I feel like this is, you know, telling you that you need to believe in certain things that maybe you feel like are unachievable maybe things that you feel like you don't deserve and i feel like that is what these cards are right here maybe you don't think that a happy relationship here marriage a solid commitment is something that you will get from another person maybe you feel like this is the one you know maybe you feel like this is somebody that you can have a secure future with okay that ten of pentacles this is having the home the car all the money children grandchildren like this is this is what you want at the end of the day this is what you're working towards being able to have that financial security and stability long term okay so maybe you don't feel like you're going to find this relationship and this connection from someone else maybe you feel like you're not going to be able to build this relationship with somebody else maybe because you spent a lot of time and money invested into this person so maybe you think that you won't get that four of wands with anyone else but the impossible is this nine of swords the impossible is this nine of swords and once you balance out you know the impossible with the possible this is getting everything that you want and having that emotional fulfillment and being emotionally abundant, okay? Once you come to terms and you balance all of these emotions out with your thoughts, I feel like that's when you're going to start um, manifesting, okay? So you guys need to start believing that you can get what you want. Like maybe you won't find that perfect relationship, but you know, you can find somebody that you can build long term with you know what i'm saying and then the last moon card is you and your loved ones are safe the new moon in cancer so i feel like with whatever happens here in this connection you and your loved ones will not get hurt this tower moment whoops this tower moment will not hurt you it won't be that bad as maybe you think it will be um 
and that's where the overthinking comes in with that nine of swords all your fears and you know just your mind is racing and racing um i think there's going to be a period here where something is exposed to you and you like you realize like is this going to be my person for the rest of my life i don't think so but i've put so much effort into the relationship you know I bought a home, I, we have a car, we have children, you know, I've seen myself having children with them. We have this amazing connection. I don't think I'm going to find this with anyone else. And this is just what is going back and forth in your mind. Like you're afraid of what you cannot have, but you have to realize that you are going to be okay. You're going to be safe. This tower moment is here to help you. Okay, so Gemini, I hope that this reading made sense for you i hope that you enjoyed it remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video if it did resonate and if something did manifest in real life i will see you guys in your next love reading thank you so much for watching bye